You have to like point or something. Isn't there a red light? It's like three, two. Hi, welcome to How to Grow a Garden. Today, you're gonna to be seeing me. I'm Bo. Why? Well, because Scarlett doesn't like chainsaws. So, tree back there is coming down. He's a cherry tree. I have no idea how old he is, but he's really big and thick, and I hope to make some sandwich boards out of him. But the main reason why we're actually taking him down is because he casts a shadow on the entire garden, on this side, summer and winter. So, it's not very helpful for vegetables and other vegetation. So, that's what's happening. Stick around and plug your ears. Okay, so I'm going to chop the tree. <clears throat> Normally, with a tree this size, I would uh, be worried about the fall direction. But as you can see, someone else in the past has already chopped the main course of the tree. And now we have this side guy. And he's leaning anyways. So he's going to wonderfully fall where I want him to fall, which is there going to be simple enough. I'm just going to make a cut straight from the top. I'm not even going to chip into the bottom because I don't have to force him to go into the direction because he's already growing there. So now I will go get my laser scalpel. you do? Well, there's a chain adjustment screw here in the middle, which you can't see because it's so dirty. <laughs> but right in there. And that one pulls a little um, spring-loaded lever back and forth, which adjusts the drive wheel in here, which adjusts the tension of the chain. The chain has to have a little bit of space to move because the grease that greases the chain that goes in here has to be allowed to flow around but anyways the point is that when it pulls back it's pulling through this wheel in here there's a wheel and that's where the chain rolls along and if it's too tight well then it's basically the same as having garden shears that aren't greased and are a little rusty they work but you're going to invest way too much power and trying to close them and you're not going to get the job done. So chainsaw is the same thing. If the motor has to spend 80% of its power to get the chain moving, then it won't have the necessary power to get through big guy. Well, I've got three screws here. Um, one regulates uh, fuel flow, one regulates air flow. Um, and the third one, well, basically does the same thing. It even gives you a little guide on the side here. Under optimal conditions, you turn the screw all the way closed to the right. And then it has a one in the middle of the circle. So you give it one full rotation, 360 degrees, and that should give you optimal flow for this chainsaw. Now each chainsaw is a little different, kind of like every car. They're basically built the same, but you know, they got personality. So this one needs about one and a quarter turn, or one and an eighth turn, but it depends on how, how the temperature is outside and how he feels on that day. And a hot day, um, he's almost completely happy with one turn. But the colder it gets, you, the more you have to fiddle. And today it's a little turning? moist. Hmm? Why are you turning it? Because that uh, readjusts how much air and how much fuel goes in. So, let's try it again. <clears throat> the point is that when I pull it, it's supposed to just stay on without me touching it. Stay in a nice idle, just like your car. If you constantly have to push the gas in your car for it to stay on, you should see a mechanic. Same thing here. Okay. 
that sound nice and round perfect uh, this is now almost 20 years old but it's pretty much built exactly the same way today you can change the blade length you can get short little stubby guys or you can get those really long ones those are the ones you'll see in the forestry when they're taking down the really big trees might also be a slightly bigger saw anyways I'm gonna go cut now So I'm going to take off this slice and then I'm going to take it down to what we say hip height, right here. Or do you want me to just leave it there? I want you to leave it because I can put a hammock on that. Okay. I think that's pretty cool. Then I'm just leave it. So then we start chopping this guy. Finished. Hopefully.